Hello everyone, welcome to the second video in the Pro Tips series of Figma. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some advanced prototyping tips that you might not know about. But these are some things that I have noticed people not make use of as much because they have come from a different software before. That is why they might not know about it. But today I'm going to show you how you can create overlays very simply and detach them from the design screens that you have. So let's get started. Alright, now we are on the file. So if you want to follow along, the file link is in the description below and I'll tell you how you can duplicate this file. So if you come on to the link that I have shared, you just have to click on this drop down. I'm not getting that option because this is my file. You'll get an option to duplicate it to your drafts. So you can duplicate it to your drafts and then you can open it from there or you'll get an option here. You'll get a dialog box here which will say open when you click on duplicate to your drafts. So if you want to follow along, then you can do that. And I have multiple pages set up for you. So on this page, this reference page, I'm going to perform the prototyping so that you can refer to it. And then the second page is for you to try out. It has the same screen. It has the same structure. Everything is the same. Just that you can follow along on that page. In this page, everything will be set up. All right. So the first thing I'm going to share is how you can create a pop-up or an overlay. So what the method in other applications is that if you want to create a pop-up or an overlay, what you'd have to do is you'd have to create a different screen or different artboard, then apply another rectangle on top of it with a faded color, say black, you, you would apply black color in say 80% opacity. And then whatever the contents are there in your overlay, you would put them over there. These are the steps that you would follow in any other software. But in Figma, it is simplified in the prototyping section. So let me tell you how. So for example, I want to click on this profile icon here and I want this frame or this particular element to open as a bottom sheet. So what a bottom sheet is, it is just a series of options that you can access from the, which opens from the bottom. So this is a very common navigation structure used across Android and iOS. So what if I want to open it as a bottom sheet and I want the background to fade a little bit. So I told you what happens in the other software. So now I'll tell you what happens in Figma. So if I double click on, on this profile icon and then go on to prototype, you can see that there is a plus icon. Uh, there is a plus sign here, which means that I can drag it out to any one of my frames. So as I mentioned in the last video, you can check it out that why we use frames in prototype and not groups. So this is a frame which I have named as options. So I direct this profile icon to the frame and I trigger it on click. All right. And then I don't want to navigate it to the other frame. I, that is not a screen, right? So as I mentioned that frames can act as an independent item. So they might not be screens. And that is why I mentioned it in the last video. So if you click on this arrow, instead of navigate to, since this is only a part of the screen, it will not appear as a full screen, I can change it to swap overlay. Oh, sorry, open overlay. So open overlay is an entry point into one of the items. So as I told you that the, you can set up series of these overlays and open overlay is the entry point to that. Okay. I'll tell you what I mean by that. So I want this to act as a bottom sheet. So the property that I will set from here, so there are some predefined properties that you can choose from. For example, I will choose bottom center, right? And if you want to choose bottom right, bottom left, it will not make any difference because the width is the same. Width of the device, width of this frame and this frame of the bottom navigation, sorry, bottom sheet is the same. So it will not make a, a huge difference in that case. If I click over here, I can set what the blur amount I want in the background. So this is the blur amount. And if I want to close the overlay, if I want to close this pop-up or a bottom sheet, when I click anywhere outside or anywhere in uh, where the overlay or this color is, okay? So this is what it means. And I can also add an option to move for it to move in. So for the bottom sheet, I want it to move from top to bottom. So I don't have to animate it manually. I just have to give it an option of move from top to bottom. So you will see how it is moving and I can just adjust the timing of it as well. So this is the first step that I've done. So I can trigger it from anywhere. Now that I've defined it as an overlay, I can trigger it from this screen as well. Okay. So for example, this is the next screen. I'll link it from this screen. So if I want to open it from this screen as well, I'll just have to link it and all the properties will be the same. I can change it. 
I can change it for this screen in particular, but I want it to be the same. All right. So now what we have established is that this options menu, this options bottom sheet can be triggered from anywhere. No matter which screen I'm on, I can just pull out a handle from that screen to this overlay and all the properties would be reflected there. This is the first step. And the next step is that if I want to click on logout, I click on logout, then I want this pop up to appear. And if I click on yes, then I want this second pop up to appear, which is the thank you pop up. So this is something I would uh, like to do in this one, uh, in this part. Yeah, I'll show you how you can do it. If I click on logout, I go to prototype and I'll draw out a handle from here. You can see I'm drawing out to the next frame. And instead of navigate to, I will change it to swap overlay. So what will happen in this case is, and I'll also change it to instant, right? So what will happen in this case is that if I click on log out, this overlay will come and take its place. If I make it open overlay, what will happen is that it will open on the top of it. So if I change it to say 75%, which is my convention, if I add a background behind this overlay as well, it will add on top of that overlay. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. And uh, that is why I'll not be following that approach. So this is the first thing that we can follow. And if you want to change the background of the prototype, you can do it like this. You can come onto the prototype mode. If you see the background option here, you can change the color of the background that you want to see in the prototype. I'll show you how this will appear and I'll show you how it will appear when I make the option as swap overlay. Here, I will also link this explore button to this page. And in this case, I want the navigate to option because this is a separate screen, which is of the same size. And I don't want it to appear as a small screen or a smaller item. And then I'll also link this back to the original screen and this button right this button indicates that where the prototype will start from for example i want the prototype to start from here i can do that but i want it to start from here so when i click on this play button the prototype will have this as the first screen okay and another thing i forgot to mention is that if you want to view it in a particular screen what you can do is click on show prototype settings and then choose which particular device you want to view it on. So I have designed it for iPhone 11 Pro. So this is how the prototype will look like. Let me play the prototype so you get a better idea. So this is my prototype. You can see I have the screen, I have the background. And uh, now if I click on the profile icon, you can see that it is appearing from the bottom. And I had also given it a time, you remember. So it is taking that much time. And if I want to click outside, it will go back, right? And the second step is that I want to open another overlay or I want to swap this overlay rather by clicking on logout. So if I click on logout now, you can see the logout, when I click on logout, it has introduced another layer of background overlay in here because I have set it to open overlay instead of swap overlay. So once you have an overlay, you can swap different overlays and you wouldn't have to give them these properties that click outside, close on clicking outside because they will be embedded in the overlay, which is the entry point. And these properties will propagate to other overlays as well. You won't have to give them the position as well. So you can see it is not asking me for position, which it is asking me when I click on open overlay option, select the open overlay. And now if I want to exit this logout option, so for example, if I want to exit the logout option, what I can do is I have two options over here. One is if I click on click outside, then I want to close it. So for example, you have multiple screens and if you want to go back to the same screen that the overlay was called from, what you can also do is if you drag out this handle from anywhere inside an overlay or any frame that is set to swap overlay, you can see this icon appearing, right? So what this icon means is that when, you, when I click on no, it will just go back to, to the previous step. I'll show you how it will work. Okay, and if I click on yes, I want this thank you for downloading pop up to appear and I will change it to swap overlay now. So this is set and if I click on close, I want this pop up to close. So what I can also do is I can click on interactions and then I can click here and instead of none, I can change it to close overlay. I can describe what will happen looking at this flow is that when I click on the profile icon, this pop up will open. If I click on logout, this pop up will be swapped with this options bottom sheet. And if I click on no, it will close. If I click on yes, it will go on to the next overlay or it will swap this overlay with the next overlay. And if I click on close, it will just go back to the original screen. So let us see if our hypothesis is right. So I click on R to reload this entire prototype. I click on the profile icon, well and good. Click on logout. 
great and if i click on no um i think it it hasn't linked itself so i think uh, we'll have to again make it close overlay instead of saying back because back works when you have only one overlay which is this one right you can if you want to close this overlay inside an open overlay option you will get these two options okay so you get an option to close overlay as well right when you drag it outside but you would have to add an interaction separately as i told you right so now if i go here if i click on yes it will come to the next pop up if i click on close it will just go back to the screen that i was on and if i go to the next screen which is this one i wouldn't have to define it again or the three steps again which i would have to do in other software so if i click on profile icon the same pop up opens if i click on log out the same pop up gets swapped and if i click on yes then i get this thank you for downloading and if i click on close it gets closed so what you can also do is if you want to redirect it to a particular screen on clicking on close you can link it to that screen as well so i can choose navigate to and instead of none i can choose start screen so whenever wherever i am if i choose to log out and if i click on close i want to navigate back to the start screen so that can also happen okay so if i click on yes then i click on close you can see it has navigated back to the original screen that i started with you can choose whatever option you want depends on your use case that if you want to use it as a, if you just want to go back to the same screen or if you want to redirect it to a different screen by clicking on any option in a dialog box or a pop up or a bottom sheet next thing is that i told you how to trigger it as a bottom sheet you can also trigger it as a side menu okay so for example this was a bigger menu i will increase its size and i will show you how you can trigger it as a side menu so this is the size approximate size of this frame or my artboard of iphone and now i don't want it to open as a bottom sheet i want it to open as a side menu i want it to open from left to right so i'll choose this option in move in options you can click here and select move in and i want it to stick to the top and left so let us see now how it works so if i click on profile icon you can see it is coming from the right hand side and if you want a manual option of it as well which you would require in in cases you are using drop down so if i click on this explore item i want it to open here and i don't want it to appear in the same way i want it at a particular place so i can choose the manual option and then set the place of this and let us see how it will work now so if i click on explore you can see it has um, i think there is some issue over here okay so for example if i want the logout option to appear if i click on explore i'll just change it to open overlay and change it to manual instead of centered and have it below this so this i am talking about when you have to create a drop down menu you can see how easily i was able to do it this is how you can use prototype create overlays and series of overlays which you can reuse just by defining once a quick recap when you set it to open overlay it is the entry point and if you want to have a structure or a navigation or certain steps inside those overlays or those pop ups you can set that to swap overlay and if you want to go back you can just select this option from here just click on interactions and select on tap and close overlay you might see it as on click or on tap it keeps on changing i don't know why and if you want it to go to the next one you can click on swap overlay and if you want to go back to a particular screen you can just choose the navigate to option and link it back to the screen you want to go back to so these are some tips on how you can use the power of prototyping in figma there is another page over here in this file which you can go to so this is the reference page where all the navigation structure will be there if you want to follow along as you look at this video you can go to this overlay tryout page and you can just link all of these things and uh, one thing i forgot about is that if you have some content which is going beyond the screen you can go to prototype and select the vertical scrolling behavior in this screen as well so if you have content that is going out of the screen you can select that behavior and if you want to make some item sticky just click on fixed position when scrolling inside design mode this is how you can quickly create a scrolling screen right so this is sticking right where it is and if i click on explore i will just link it back if i click on explore i want it to open the new page you can see it is scrolling in just the right way so you can just change these settings you can set it to instant and this is the entry point and i hope i have covered everything i have given you a recap of everything 
one last thing that if you want to convey it to the developers what you can do is you can just write this text on the top or have some sort of documentation on top of it or annotation so that the developer knows that this is an overlay and this is a background opacity of which color that they will have to use inside design in front end development okay yeah this is all that i have for this video i also have one more file for you this i made some time ago you can see how i have designed it i have added every step how will it function and you can follow along this file i also have a community file of this in which i have six or seven interactions or six or seven animation and prototyping files that you can duplicate from the figma community and see what properties have been used to achieve what result okay this is all from this video and you can reach out to me on instagram or linkedin at any time i'd be happy to help you all links will be in the description i'll see you next time with some pro tips in animation i'll show you how to animate these files animate different screens different icons and so on so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time thank you